So this is the last section, section four of the rules update. Um, this one will be the shortest one and we're just gonna go over operator certification. So a certified operator is required for all community and non-transient non-community systems and any water system that treats surface water or has a groundwater under the influence, direct influence of surface water source. Um, how do you become certified? Well, you can take the test and pass it, um, and that certification is specific to the operator. You can go anywhere in the state of Utah with that tested certificate, or you can get a grandfather certificate. These certificates um, is when the water system is in compliance. It's specific to the operator and the system, so it's non-transferable, and the operator must have worked for the water system for a minimum number of years. Um, so that's grandfather certificates versus tested. Okay, so um, there's two types of certificates. Um, you can either be an operator where you actually work for a public water system, or you can be like me. I obviously don't work for a public water system, but I do have an, a certification. So I'm a specialist, which means I don't work for a water system. And that's in red because it's been known to be a question on the exam. So there's um, different levels of certification. Treatment has four levels. T1 is the easiest, T4 is the most difficult. Distribution certifications have five levels. SS stands for small system, and that is typically considered the easiest. And then it goes up to D4, which is um, the most intense. There's required experience um, in order to have an unrestricted license. Um, Experience can range from zero to 10 years. And the reason why you have to have a required experience for an unrestricted license is because the exam cannot measure uh, what you can do out in the field. I myself have zero experience in the field. I've worked at the Division of Drinking Water for many years and never for a water system. So my um, certificate is very restricted. Um, Restricted means that you're certified at or above grade level that's required for the system, but you lack the required experience. So that's unrestricted versus restricted. Just when you think of restricted, think of me. <laughs> Rachel is very restricted. Okay, so you can become a direct responsible charge operator, which is what DRC stands for. All DRC operators have to be certified at the level of the public water system. And these operators make independent decisions which can affect the quantity or the quality of the water. That's very important to remember. These operators are um, they're driving the train, they're running the ship. Um, the supervisor signature is required um, in order for us to give the DRC designation. And if all of the DRC operators leave a water system, then the division must be notified within 10 days and then you have to obtain a new certified operator within one year. So these are the requirements for an unrestricted license. Um, it shows what the grade level is and then also the, the years of experience. So if you have a high school diploma to get the unrestricted license um, and direct responsible charge, you have to be direct responsible charge for four years uh, with a high school certificate or degree um, for a, a total of eight years to get the unrestricted license. So take your time and get comfortable with this table. If you have questions about restricted versus unrestricted, please contact our field services section at the Division of Drinking Water. That is the section um, where the operator certification program is managed. So operator responsibilities, these are just some examples. Um, obviously the operator needs to ensure safe and adequate supply of water, uh, be current with the monitoring and reporting requirements, and then report to our offices any unsatisfactory water quality, any breakdowns in treatment, um, break-ins into treatment plants or storage tanks, things like that. Um, On-call operators have to be within one hour travel time of the system. And if it's a 24-hour water system, then each shift has to have an operator certified at the level of the public water system. That's, those two things are in red because they've been known to be a question on the exam, but as 
with anything that's a question on the exam, these are very important things to, to know and have in the back of your head at all times. So um, an operator cer certificate can be revoked um, for a variety of reasons, and these reasons are listed here. If the data is falsified, if, there's, if the operator has um, shown a disregard of public health and safety, or if there has been cheating on the exam, then the certificates can be revoked. So that is operator certification. Again, if you have questions about operator certification, our field services section at the division is the one to contact. Um, to renew your certificate, all certificates are renewable every three years. Um, and in order to renew it, you have to have continuing education units. These are required. Um, for a small system or treatment and distribution levels one and two, you have to have two CEUs, and each CEU equals 10 hours of classroom time. So over a three-year period, if you're a small system or a T1 to T2 or D1 to D2, you have to have 20 hours of classroom time over a three-year period to renew it. If you're a T3, D3, or T4, or D4, then over a three-year period, you have to have 30 hours in order to renew um, that certificate. If you want to know how many CEUs you currently have and you don't know, you can go to our online reports section um, at drinkingwater.utah.gov or you can call our office and we can look that up for you in real time. So that ends the final fourth section of um, the rules update. Again, you can take a short quiz after viewing these presentations and if you pass the quiz, uh, you will get some CEUs. And if you have any questions about the presentation, um, feel free to contact us. We are at 801-536-4200, um, or you can uh, call us individually, check the contact list at our website, which is drinkingwater.utah.gov.